I got a little story to tell you. <laughs> Obviously, from the title, everybody knows that I was arrested uh, for, uh, I have no idea what the reason was. <laughs> it was quite comical, actually. Uh, I was protesting on Saturday, or when was it? I guess I'll have to check my phone so I get the correct dates. Uh, either Friday or Saturday, whenever the hell we were protesting. I'm not even sure how these cops or police get their fucking jobs. Like, seriously, how do they get their jobs? So we have this, because uh, we will be phoning the police station, because I'm going to get their names. Um, so we have a steel structure dinosaur whatever you want to call it, more indoctrination, um, and I was standing on top of that protesting with a sign, oh, where's the picture here, so here's me standing on this dinosaur structure type thing, I don't know if you guys can see this, oh there, And there was three or four other people around me on the ground holding signs and Dancing Bob was there and uh, you name it. I also put that, I found a Christmas wreath on the ground like a few hundred meters from that thing. So I put the Christmas wreath on the dinosaur's neck. Please don't get in our way, thank you. Backing up, you have stepped forward. You have subjugated our freedom. Please, please don't get in our way, thank you. That is totally wrong. <laughs> get up, Mike. Bob. This is totally wrong. I didn't hear any rights. No rights represented. You guys have totally stretched out. Please just stay away. Just stay back and don't get in our We're way, not okay? stepping up. You okay. step forward. You guys have overstepped your purpose. You should have left him alone. You <laughs> and then so, we take a five-minute journey downtown, go to the casino, we pull over in the parking lot, and they say, so what if we took you to your, well, on the way there, they're obviously asking my name, uh, my phone number and all that stuff. I said, I don't have a name. My uh, birth certificate's not legal. I didn't sign it. So then they said, okay, well, Mike, or, okay, well, we just want your name. We, we just, we don't want the stories. We just want your name and blah, blah, blah. And I said, okay, fine. It's Mike. And they asked for my phone number. And then I they asked me for my address and I said, well, I don't have one. I live in my car. And then I think before or after that, they asked me if, if I understood what was going on. And I said, no, I don't understand. We're trying to place service communication. Seth Macy King. Oh, good day. How are you? How are you? Um, a little confused. Um, Saturday late afternoon, uh, I was arrested for something, uh, whether it was the right thing to do or not. Um, and I was returned back to my car for some reason after they drove me around for 10 minutes. Uh, so I don't have the police officers' names that did that. Okay, I'm just going to put you on hold for 911. Just stay on the line, okay? Okay, sure, yep. Yeah, it's not going to be good for Regina Police, that's all I'm saying. Oh yes, I'm just wondering if I can talk to the watch commander. Sure can. Um, I don't know for sure that uh, he's at his desk right now. Okay. But if he's not, just leave your name and number and he'll call you back, okay? Oh, okay, thank you very much. You have reached Regina Police Service Watch Commander's Office. Stop. Yeah, I don't want them to phone me back because I don't know when they'll phone me back. I want I want to talk to them now.
Yeah, so I was arrested for, uh, you know, disturbing the peace, supposedly. More flat earth stuff coming your way. Oh, there it is. There it is.